and I had to make the decision about Santiago if he's gonna stay here um, on the farm in my Kiko goat herd for a little while longer or if I'm gonna go ahead and sell him. I'm Sylvia and this is Silver Pine Kiko Goats. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from talking about those lovely does that are two weeks away from kidding. So exciting. And we're gonna talk a little bit about the bucks. I'll be telling you a little bit about some hard decisions that I've had to make um, as far as the bucks in my herd go. So that's mainly what we'll be talking about today. So first of all, we're gonna talk about this big boy right back here. This is Santiago. He is, as many of you know, my first Kiko buck that I bought to add to my herd. And he started off my Kiko goat herd basically by giving us Loki and Lola from Luna. So Santiago, as I said earlier, he was my first Kiko buck. He's not registered, but he's done an amazing job in helping me get started with these Kiko goats. And I really hope to have him around for a long time, but I've already had him around for about two years 
and I thought when I got Espresso, my new registered Kiko Buck, I might hang on to Santiago a little bit longer too so that those two can have a buddy and so that I can just keep seeing how Santiago is growing out. Maybe do some stud surface breedings to make up for the cost of feed that I'm putting into these bucks because goats eat a lot of food and I have to put a lot of money into this feed that I'm giving them to keep them. So I kind of have to be particular about what goats stay in the herd and which goats have to go. Um, in this case, I had to make a pretty big decision on Santiago when I brought in my new buck that I wasn't really planning on getting right away. Um, just that opportunity arose, so I went and picked up that new buck. So now I have two bucks and I had to make the decision about Santiago, if he's gonna stay here um, on the farm in my Kiko goat herd for a little while longer, or if I'm gonna go ahead and sell him. Now, what I decided to do is to go ahead and actually sell him. Um, unfortunately, it didn't quite work out to where I can hang on to him a little longer. Um, as for the main part, feed prices have gone up a lot. It's expensive to feed these goats, and I want to be able to make an income off of them. So, yes, I am going to go ahead and sell Santiago, um, let him move on to a new herd, and keep producing some awesome baby goats. Also, we will get to see still more of his offspring this kidding season from Luna and Kiko as they were bred to him. So that will still continue at least for for this kidding season, which will be exciting to see. But I was hoping to hang on to him, just see how he grows out, um, let him breed some other people's does from different herds that maybe don't care about registered Kikos. About that, breeding season has kind of come to an end with goats for this year. So I don't think that I would have very many um, breeding opportunities with this buck in people's herds. So therefore, as I don't have much of a use for him in my herd anymore, unfortunately, he is gonna move on to be a great herd sire for someone else's herd. Now, as for Espresso right here, um, Espresso is my new registered Kiko Buck, and he is going to be the new herd sire for my Kiko Goat herd this year. Um, I hope to start off his breeding sometime in about May or early summer and breed Primrose for fall babies. She'll be a year and a half then, and so that's my first plans for using him for breeding, and then we can see what he produces in my herd. But I'm really excited to use him. Now, unfortunately, with Santiago leaving, he's not going to have another buck for a friend. And I do not like it when my goats are lonely. Now, I did position my buck pen to be right next to the doe pen so that the bucks can see, see the other goats on the other side and still kind of have a buddy in that way but I'm really a softy for him and I really don't want them to be lonely I want them to be as comfortable as they can with um, hopefully a buddy now with that being said um, I may go ahead and look for a another registered Kiko buckling uh, probably a really young bottle baby or something to have as well in the near future. With that, I would be keeping two bucks, but it would be two young bucks, which would help with not quite so much feed, and I wouldn't have to worry so much about aggression and having to handle these big bucks. Now that's another thing too with keeping Santiago around. He's getting really big. Um, he's about two years old, around 200 pounds, and it really gets hard for me being a 15 year old girl to handle these big Kiko bucks, especially when they were not bottle babies, you know, they were just raised out on the pasture, um, like Kiko goats usually are. So it gets difficult to handle them. So 
Um, I may think about getting a young registered Kiko buckling as well to keep with espresso and use for some breedings as well. Or something else that I thought of is I might look into purchasing for a good price or even for free a Nigerian dwarf weather to keep around just as a pet and companion for the bucks. I don't know. Those are just some of my plans. Um, we'll see what happens as far as that goes. I'll keep you guys posted. But um, it would be nice to have a buddy for espresso um, other than myself, <laughs> a goat buddy. So um, I'll look more into that. But as for now, those are my plans with the goats. Um, just thought I'd talk to you about that. Unfortunately, Santiago will be heading on to new life on a new farm. I will be posting him for sale. I will also hope to put a link in the description below if you are interested in purchasing Santiago. I'll have some information about him on a post for sale and his price and everything about that if you're interested. And then Espresso, he will be the new herd sire for my herd and I'll be able to see what type of kids he produces and the genetics that he has adds to my herd. Um, that will be exciting. Also kidding season in two weeks as I mentioned earlier. Does are looking very fat, looking big and about ready to pop here soon. So stay tuned for some very exciting videos. Um, appreciate you following along. Please don't forget to go down, hit that subscribe button, click the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, ring that notification bell so you don't miss another one, and I will see you on the next video.